Hello, everyone, and welcome to Read Along with Grandma Sherry. I hope you are doing well today. The story we have today is called Dreams, and it is written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. It was hot. After supper, Roberto came to his window to talk with Amy. Look what I made in school today, a paper mouse. Does it do anything? Amy asked. Roberto thought for a while. I don't know, he said. Then he put the mouse on the windowsill. It grew darker. The city got quieter. Bedtime, Roberto, called his mother. Bedtime for you, too, other mothers called. Good night, Amy. Good night, Roberto. Good night, echoed the parrot. Soon, They were all in bed. Someone began to dream. Soon, everybody was dreaming, except one person. Somehow, Roberto just couldn't fall asleep. It got later and later. Finally, he got up and went to the window. What he saw down in the street made him gasp. There was Archie's cat. A big dog had chased him into a box. The dog snarled. He's trapped, thought Roberto. What should I do? Then it happened. His pajama sleeve brushed the paper mouse off the windowsill. It sailed away from him. Down it fell, turning this way and that, casting a big shadow on the wall. The shadow grew bigger and bigger and bigger. The dog howled and ran away. The cat dashed across the street and jumped through Archie's open window. Wow! Wait till I tell Archie what happened, thought Roberto. That was some mouse. He yawned and went back to bed. Morning came and everybody was getting up, except one person. Roberto was fast asleep, dreaming. And that brings us to the end of Dreams, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. I hope you enjoyed that story. And you never know what's going to happen when the lights go out. An adventure could be awaiting. So, I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope you enjoyed reading it with me. And I hope you have pleasant dreams. Bye-bye.